Matt Foes, Regional Agronomist with 360 Yield Center here today, standing in front of the corn head. So what I first want to talk about is deck plate spacing. So we're typically going to ask you to run your deck plates about 3 eighths of an inch wider than you typically would with gathering chains. The reason for this is, as you look at some of the rows that I haven't torn apart yet this year, here is a row that had yield savers on it last year at the end of the season for some testing. And you can see that the brushes overlap, causing that opening between the deck plates effectively to be narrower uh, and the, end up doing the brushes and, and do most of the ear stripping. As opposed to this row that had chains on it, you see that the yield, uh, the, the ears are going to drop straight through to the deck plates and that's where the shearing is going to be done. So as we look at setting up the head, what we want to first consider is positioning of the deck plates. So if I look at this one, and this is set to the standard 25, 30 seconds deck plate spacing uh, at zero setting on the adjustable, you will see that we are off centered where, uh, above the rolls. So that as I open up my deck plates, I'm going to get closer to the center, but I'm still going to likely, if I'm running chains, I'm going to end up with a shearing accent action against this particular deck plate. So what I want to do instead is try to center that uh, that stationary deck plate when you've got it loose when you're cleaning everything out from the year prior slide it over farther so that your opening that you normally run is more centered to directly above the of the uh, rolls underneath that way you get a clean head pulling straight down and you don't get a lot of trash coming in the row now I said that we have this 25 30 seconds this socket particularly uh, measures about that so I, I have that for a, a reference for you but as we look at this other row what I'm going to do is suggest that you pull in that that deck plate on that side and you can see that this socket doesn't fit down there I've got a smaller one that I use as my guide and the reason for that is I want to keep this deck plate shoved over farther that way so that as I open up as I'm widening out and I'm going to be wide, relatively speaking, with yield savers on. But even if I was running in chain, I want to make sure that that gap, that standard gap, is directly over the rows. So the other thing that I'll recommend is some people are considering running yield saver on part of their corn head as opposed to the whole one. They want to test it to see what the value is. If you do this, what I will suggest is that your stationary plate on the, on the right-hand side as you sit in the seat I'm going to move it back on the rows that I'm running yield savers on. The reason for that is, is I always want to have that gap under yield saver wider than it would be under a set of gathering chains. So I recommend doing that for split heads. That way you're set up for success. You'll minimize the amount of trash you come in uh, that comes into the head because just with chains, as you bring in the, the plates, you get more trash. If you have them too narrow with yield savers, you will bring in trash as well. So set that deck plate on the stationary side out away from the center of the row unit and you'll be able to uh, have that comparison and compare apples to apples.